Lonzo Ball drove down the baseline and made a layup that put his team up by eight points late in the fourth quarter over the Phoenix Suns. Play stopped for a timeout with 135 left and his teammates rushed over to him, jumping and grinning, delighted at what had done. Only one person WASNT smiling a leaping ball. He walked over, stone-faced and emotionless. That's what teams supposed to do, pick you up, but there was more time on the clock, Ball said. You can't get settled with anything in the league, they come back too fast. We almost gave this one away but I'm happy we pulled it off. In the second game of his NBA career, Lonzo Ball showed why his team fell in love with him six months ago. The Lakers beat the Suns 132,130 behind a near triple-double from their rookie point guard. Ball finished the game with 29 points, 11 rebounds and 9 assists. He became the first rookie in Lakers history to have at least 29 points, 11 rebounds and 9 assists. He became the first teenager since LeBron James to have such a game. He became the first NBA rookie overall since Blake Griffin in 2011 to have such a stat line, bouncing back from a season opener in which he had 3 points, 9 rebounds and 4 assists. It's happened before, Ball said. It happened in summer league. It's happened before in my career. I'm used to it. I know everybody's going to say everything game by game. If I play bad on Sunday it's going to be right back to HES a bust. With a win, the Lakers improved to 11. The Suns, who lost their season opener by 48 points, fell 2-0-2. Brandon Ingram scored a career-high 25 points on 9 of 14 shooting for the Lakers, while Brooke Lopez, Larry Nance Jr., Jordan Clarkson and Kyle Kuzma also reached double figures. From Ball, it was a performance that included the kinds of dazzling plays that got the Lakers' attention in the first place. His best might have been one that didnt tally on the score sheet. Late in the second quarter, Ball threw a full-court pass, like a quarterback might dare, to Corey Brewer who was underneath the opposite basket. Brewer was blocked from behind and couldn't score. Ball's critics were many after Thursday night's 10,892 loss to the Clippers. But even before his much stronger second act, he had one especially staunch supporter. I think Lonzo's getting a bad rep for getting destroyed his first game, coach Luke Walton said before Friday's game. The guy, personally, I thought he could have had a double-double with rebounds and assists. We didn't make any shots. He'll figure out when to get his shots. I thought he was fine last night. It's a good learning experience for everybody. Ball had three points on one of six shooting in his debut Thursday, with nine rebounds, four assists, one steal and one block. He was hounded by Clippers point guard Patrick Beverly, who was physically and verbally aggressive with a rookie. Ball said after the game that he wished he was more aggressive with taking shots. He didnt shy away from shooting Friday night, taking 27 shots. Today I just had to do what I had to do to get the win, Ball said. I had to shoot more shots, so that's what I did. Late in the fourth quarter, with a lead less than five, with Ball just two assists away from a triple-double, he drove to the basket instead. The next time down the court he dished his ninth assist of the game, this one to Kuzma who finished with a finger roll off the backboard, I'm not calling him Kobe, but Kobe was the same way, Walton said. As a teammate, I knew not even to touch Kobe in those moments because Kobe was locked in. In those moments, the players that don't let the pressure get to them, they stay calm, although Phoenix got close, it was too great a deficit for the Suns to overcome. Said Ball it doesn't take me long to learn. Caption 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 Tanya.Gangulai at Latimes.com Follow Tanya Gangulai on Twitter at Tanya Gangulai.